everybody, it's Oopspa Katie, and I am here to get you all caught up. Yeah! So uh, we had a little sun, and so I, I am like a flower that has revived. Yeah! So I actually feel like vlogging. <laughs> it's amazing what sun can do. Okay, so I have a list of things that I want to tell you. First off, people, I want to tell you that the floors are done. We got the floorway in the hallway, sh hallway finished. And, um, and then dad helped me start the floor in the train room and then I finished that floor. And then um, that was two weeks ago or over two weeks ago now. And then uh, today alone, uh, dad, we had some some wood left over, some click flooring left over. So dad wanted to do the closets in his, uh, his and mom's bedroom. So um, uh, I did those today. So those are done. So the only thing left to do is the carpet has to go down in the bedroom and the linoleum or tile or whatever it's going to be has to go down in the bathroom and that's it okay uh so that's that's that news uh next is uh, a couple weeks ago uh we got just before the mother's day weekend i think um the cabinet guy came and he installed cabinets um in the kitchen they're white cabinets against yellow walls they look beautiful and i'm going to show you pictures of the floor and the cabinets now you're nobody till somebody loves you you're nobody till somebody cares. You may be king. So uh, everything's coming together. Everything's starting to look really great. And uh, there's one downside, and that is that um, they put up soundproofing gyprock. It's it's a different type of gyprock than regular gyprock. Uh, only it doesn't soundproof enough. So my brother and sister-in-law said, you know, before you go any further, uh, we want you to take the ceilings down and, and put up more jib rock. So, so that means that they, they called, it, called the contractors. Um, they're going to see about blowing insulation in and then doing this double jib rock uh, ceiling thing. And so there's a very good potential, people. I'm going to have to paint ceilings all over again. No, no. Anyways, so we'll tackle that bridge when we get there. I'm not going to worry about it. I At least I got painting ceilings down now. I like I got like a knack for it, I think. Okay, so that's that. And um, so um, my mom and I were hanging out with these friends of ours. And uh, they're scrapbooking women. And so they wanted to do this project. And... Um, you are supposed to bring a couple photos that you want to cherish and you're going to make a scrapbook scrapbooking picture photo memory thing that you can frame. And so this is mine. Yeah! <laughs> now I have never ever done any scrapbooking before, uh, but uh, I thought I, sure, I could try it, right? So this is me, of course, and this is my nephew, Blake. Uh, this is just a week before or two weeks before his uh, fourth birthday. And um, <laughs> and so this is this is what I made. Yeah, hope you like it. All right, so I'm gonna frame it someday and uh, and stick it up on a wall somewhere. Anyways, there we go. So um, also, I wanted to tell you that um, I I have a s slightly sad fun funny story. So I went to the markets, the Saturday morning market um, of the small town I live near. Uh, there was a young woman there, 12 years old, 12 or 13, and she uh, was born in the IWK hospital in Halifax. Um, that's our children's hospital for sick kids. And, uh, and so she was born there and she lived her first couple years there, and, uh, but she's made a recovery. I don't, I don't know what was wrong with her. I didn't get a chance to ask, but she's made a recovery. And what she does in her spare time is she makes beaded jewelry, um, beaded earrings, and some necklaces and rings and a few other little things. And she also makes uh, journals um, that you can write in. And so I bought, uh, oh, and 10% of her proceeds from the day go to support the IWK. So I thought, great cause, I can totally get into this. So I said to her, okay, I'll, I'll buy a couple pair of earrings and, uh, and one of those journals. So here's the journal that I bought. I think it is so cute. Didn't she do a good job? Yeah, so I thought it was very creative. And um, 
there's the there's all the paper on the inside there's lots of it it's not going anywhere that's her her name and her email address and stuff she wrote it down for me so I could have it anyways I thought it was super cute five bucks can't go wrong uh, these are one of the pair of earrings right here uh, they're the other pair upstairs so anyways you're not gonna get to see them another time in another video and uh, but what I didn't realize was that I haven't worn earrings since probably the fall it's probably the last time you saw me with earrings in and um, this ear had grown over <laughs> so I couldn't I couldn't get the earring in so I had to go take a needle and uh, disinfect it and um, and shove it through the hole <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, what a bloody gross mess it was. Yeah, anyways, it's it's okay for the most part now, and I got the earring in, so that's what counts. And uh, yeah, I just, I just had no idea. I mean, I've had them pierced since I was like 22 or 23 years old, and so 10 years ago or something, and and all of a sudden I don't wear them for four months or five months, and, and one ear grows over. What's that? Anyways, they're fine now, I think, and... Uh, and so everything should be fine. Um, and the, one of the other things I got was there was a woman, another woman who does beaded stuff and she did a keychain, which I thought was really, really, really cool. So all these pretty beads on it. But what she did was she took an old key, uh, one of her old keys, and she and then she covers it with beads. And uh, and I thought that that was so pretty and so bright and so colorful. And so I hang it off of my purse. I don't actually use it as a keychain. I just use it as a decoration on my purse. So anyways, uh, I thought that was really cool. And maybe some of you crafters out there th think this is a cool idea. And maybe uh, you can make one and, I don't know, sell it or give it away to your friends. I don't know. Whatever you want. Uh, oh yeah, so we put up the hummingbird feeder um, and we have hummingbirds like mad outdoors and they sit on the porch rail and we sit, um, my mom has this um, de reindeer or deer and sleigh um, display thingy with lights that she puts up every winter and, and we didn't bring it indoors yet, it's sitting on the up in the patio. And uh, so the hummingbirds sit on that too. So anyways, I want to show you pictures of those guys right now. But gold won't bring you happiness When you're growing old The world still is the same You'll never change it Okay, so um, and last but not least, um, I just want to say uh, hello to uh, all my new subscribers. I've gotten a lot lately and I'm, I'm noticing that I'm not getting a notification. My number is going up but I'm not getting any notifications. So if you've subscribed and I haven't come and written on your wall to say, hey, how you doing? Um, then uh, leave me a, a note and let me know and I'll, and I'll come on, I'll swing on by. But um, so thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate you subbing my channel and I hope you enjoy my videos and uh, there should be greater variety coming soon now that the sun is out and I feel like vlogging. Um, and, uh, and I also want to say hello to all my um, older, wiser, more familiar <laughs> subs because uh, uh, I appreciate you guys too and um, I'm really glad that you're so faithful to watch the videos and comment and uh, and come visit my channel and anyways I really appreciate it so that's it folks uh, that's all I have to say I think it's a lot it's probably a really long video and uh, uh, yeah and I'll chit chat with you guys later bye Nobody till some